fact is from a person by the name of Yonatan Ben Uziel. There were great spiritual people that managed to do things like raise the dead, cure instantly, that were able to do tremendous feats of miracles. He was the student of Rabbi Hillel. Hillel was one of the, you know, the story of Hillel that he was a very poor person and he wanted so much to learn but he couldn't afford the schools of learning. So he almost froze to death on the roof of a house of learning so that he would be able to take the energy. And when they found him there, they brought him inside and allowed him to learn as a matter of course. Anyhow, he was called Hillel the Elder. And he had 80 students, the lowest of which, which is another place that we're going to go, but the best and the greatest of all the students was Rabbi Yonatan ben Uzia. And basically, it is said, there's no proof either way, but it is said that because of his great learning, that he so was a part, almost like Moses, almost like Jesus. He was so much a part of that spiritual energy that he never married, he never bore children, and his life was dedicated to just the learning in order to, he wrote a, a, a volume on Kabbalah, I forgot the name, I'm sure Michael will remember, and he also wrote many different writings, one is called the Targim, right? Targum, sorry. If it's not my first language. So, but, so because of the fact that he was such a great entity, it's okay, and because of the fact that he never married nor bore children, they decided that any person that would come to him with a request for a marriage partner, or anybody that would come to him with a request for family, he would be open to hear their, their prayer. And so what we're going to do here is basically not only to request for those of us that are married for years to request from him maybe to find a way to find new life in that relationship so that it'll be something that we together will be able to feel and to draw to ourselves, to our families, to our friends, maybe even to take apart to a friend of ours that we know solely needs that, that is in a relationship that's maybe a little bit stale, or in a relationship that is about to end. But try to concentrate also on the fact that this man was a tr there was no section of any part of spiritual law that he didn't know, that he couldn't be able to recite. And also, it's also a lesson for us here. This man dedicated his life to learning his spiritual uh, teachings, so much so that he gave up his own personal life in terms of a relationship with his family, etc. So sometimes, part of our process, our, t our, our tikkun as we call it, our correction, maybe not to have a partner for life. Maybe that our correction Maybe we've done that in the last lifetime, and that our correction in this lifetime is different. But whatever that might be, we're here to request of Him to help us to find that path. And if there is a soul made out there that's for me or for any of us, then let it be a part of us. And if there is a relationship that's stagnant and perhaps needs a little rebuilding, let Him help us with that. And if there's a family member that's crying, for some help with children, or anything that has to do with those issues, this is a perfect place to ask for it, because tonight the gates will be open, especially for a group like ours, that are coming just for a spiritual reason, and coming together in a unity that's incredible, because we're here from so many different places, so many different cultures, and so many different religions. And yet together we stand here tonight in the pouring rain, one unit. And because of that we can request and the gates will open because of the unity that we have with each other and because of the love we can share. Thank you.